wanted to follow up on the battery. After I put the new BMS on, I went through and did a full uh, mow on the yard, gave it a full charge and then mowed the yard. And I have a quick clip that'll show what the battery state was after the mow. And then what I'd like to do now is go ahead and go through this, because it's been through a full charge. It's been sitting on a charger now for over 48 hours. So it's got a good full charge on it. So what I'd like to do is just review this and see where it's at and see if uh, we need to continue working on it or we can go back to working on portable power pack and power wall. Anyway, so watch this clip and then we'll come back and start looking into this. I just finished mowing and this the new BMS. So right now I'm at 30, looks like 36 volts. Yeah, 36.6. So that's not too bad. 36.6 after a full mow. And then what I want to do is check each of the cells to see how they're at. 3.77. There's a little bit of life left in that. Ooh, 245. That is way too low. That's a half a volt too low. Um, this one here, 3.79. That's not terrible. 3.79. 3.81. Three seven eight, three seven seven, three eight. Get a good connection here. Three eight three, and this last one up here. Three seven seven. Okay, so I have. We'll see what happens after I run a, a full discharge or a full recharge, and I'll do a top end charge with this new BMS. After mowing, it's still. It's warm to the touch, it's, uh, but it's, it seems to be working out all right. Okay, after reviewing the, the battery after the mow, there was some concern again about cells and where they're at and how much drain is on them. So let's just walk through each of the different uh, cell leads here and see if we can't see where we're at after a full charge. So this first one here on top, that's 4.21 and that's like a full charge, that is full full. And this guy down here is 4.21. So that's good, good and balanced there. And this one here is 4.21, touching on 2.2. So that one also is in good state. And this one, uh, 4, come on, get a good connection here. 4.21, so that's good. And the next one in series here, 4.22. So that's a little high, but it's right there within the range. And the next cell set, 4.21, it's kind of bouncing on 2.0 and 2.1. So it's a little bit lower than the others, but not too bad. And the next one in line here, 4.2. So, oh, there's 2.1. Okay, so it did jump to 2.1. And then we get to this cell set, and we're looking at 4.2. So this is good. It's looking really good. And... This guy, 3.8. Same issue I had before. <sighs> so what could it be? It could be probably a cell. So we need to go through and test each cell in that, in that, uh, that set to see if one of these cells is bad. Now let's take a look at this last one here. This is one that was overcharging last time. And it's at 4.1. So it's actually low as well. But I think we'll start with this first Actually, we'll probably look at both of these and see um, what the state of each cell is. All I'm going to do is just come in and take off um, some of these fuses on, a, on the positive side. positives on the other cell set. We can look at them each independently. There we go. 
So now let's go through and run a test on each cell and see where each cell is at. This and this. That one's 41. 411. 411. 410. 410. Nothing yet. This is kind of not really clear what the issue is here. Okay, so they're all balanced at the same, but they're a lower voltage. Okay, let's look at that second cell set, because that's the one that's been really giving us grief. Okay, that one's at 3.8. That's what it was testing out before. 3.8. 3.8. <laughs> three eight. Well, they're balancing. Three eight. Three eight, and last one. Uh, three eight. All right. Um, so, if we're getting them all, they're balancing within the cell unit themselves, but they're not balancing with the pack, or they're not getting a good balance. We've tried two BMSs, and we're not having any luck. So I think what I may do is put um, my IMAX B6 and see if I can't charge each of these, these cell banks independently. I need to see if they'll go up to 4.2 on their own, and if they can sustain that. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to put these fuses back on. And then we'll put the IMAX B6 on here and see if I can't get these cells to go up independently. I'll just do each cell set separately and see if I can't get it up to 4.2 to match these others and see if that helps. See that? <laughs> Fuse worked. I got branded. <laughs> That's funny because my last name is Brand. Don't touch this bar to this bar. And that's why we use fuses. Psst. <laughs> let's make some sparks. Hoorah. Okay, let's see if we can do that again, but um, we'll put the fuse on appropriately this time instead of burning my finger. That was cool, huh? Yeah, let's see if I can capture that. I'm going to make sure I got that on film. Well, that's a good one. It, it got me good. That'll set a memory. Look at that thing. Look at that. See if you can see that. Hoorah. Look at there. Yeah, that's a memory. Okay. Moving on. You know, what's, uh, what's life if you can't have a little bit of fun? Cells are all back together again. Let me grab my IMAX. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to use these alligator clips and charge these two cell banks up independently. I'll probably do them one at a time. I could do them both at the same time, but I'm just going to do them one at a time. So what it comes down to is this each cell bank should be at 4.2 volts. And so if I come in here, I can actually treat this like a single cell. So battery, start and I want charge. Let's go fast charge. Enter, six amps, and we're gonna go single cell. So let's do the bottom one first. Put this red alligator clip over here, and the black one over here, so it isolates it into this just this one cell set. And then I can hold this down, checks it out, it's good. And it's showing right there at uh, Three, seven. So it's doing a fast charge right now. It's dumping in five amps. And we'll see, it should take it, it'll probably take it a good half hour or so to put that charge on there. So 
As soon as that one's done, I'll come back and we'll switch over to the other one. Now, I've already done the other one, so I'm just going to, both, both cell sets I've now charged. I didn't show you the second one, but let's see where they're at. So this first one here, that's not even 4.1. So it even fell short. It didn't get a full charge in it. It's almost like I need to bottom balance it, but I don't know if that's going to help. Well, um, I'm going to put the IMAX back on, but I think I'm going to do it in a double cell this time. And So if I take my clips here, and what I want to do is I want to find my negative on one and positive on the other. And I've got to bring this over just a little bit so I can get more thing here. So we'll put our positive down here and the negative up here. So what this is going to do now is it's going to charge both cells at the same time. So I need to adjust the IMAX to, uh, we're going to keep it on fast charge. And I'm, I'm going to keep it at 6 amps, but I'm going to do a 2S or 2 in series. So now it's going to jump up. It's going to push for 7.2 volts. We'll see how this goes. So now I'm hold this down, checking the cells, and it's off. So I would have shown you the end result, but it, um, it ended just about right after I finished um, hooking it up and turning it on. So it you're, didn't miss much. It only added about 100 milliamps. It wasn't a lot to the two sets. I think part of that's probably because of the IMAX B6. I, I need to get back over the portable power pack. It's just time for me to get back. I know you guys are anxious for me to get back to that so that get off this lawnmower. I know this was a little side job thing, but it was kind of fun. And, and you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll shoot the, uh, the top voltage meter so you can see that later. But for right now, I think we're gonna get back to the portable power pack. So with that, um, we're gonna call this video. I know it's been kind of long. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you find this in interesting, please subscribe below, ding the bell so that uh, you uh, get notifications whenever I post new material. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.